Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. It is mail called Time from the USA and this is a package from Alliance Designs. Now this is my very first Alliance Designs knife and it is, well, you've read the video title, The Slim Pickens. Now, I first got interested in this knife when I watched videos of this, when it was being featured in Blade Show earlier this year. And ever since then, I've been waiting for it. And there are a couple of reasons why I wanted to get this knife out of all the other Alliance Designs knives that were available. I really, really like some of the Alliance Designs knives. For example, I like the way the mini Veneno looks. I also am quite a fan of the Angry Stubby Baby Bear, but I never pulled the trigger on any Alliance Designs knives until this. And that's for a couple of reasons. The first is because it is the first in-house design by Alliance Designs. Second, it is a button lock, which is really interesting to me. You guys know I really love the button compression lock and I've never owned a proper button lock before. But the main reason that won me over for this knife was because every single video that I watched that featured the Slim Pickens always spoke about that crazy beautiful sound that this would make when you open and close it. You guys gotta experience what this sounds like to open it because this thing's amazing. I love that sound. Ting. Listen to that. Nice. Really impressive stuff. I love the sound on that. Hopefully the mic is picking that up. And I really, really wanted to experience it for myself in person. And so I've been waiting since then for them to release it. And finally it was out. They announced the drop and I just hopped on immediately. I think maybe I might be one of the first few people that actually ordered it. And I just wanted you guys to see here that it is a button lock knife. I mean, I find it a little bit strange that they didn't write the model as the Slim Pickens, but they wrote it as the button lock knife instead. Well, it's full titanium, dark stone wash. That's what I chose for the handle finish. And the blade is M390 steel featuring a satin finish. And I'm gonna open up the box. You can tell that it's been poorly handled. What do I expect from standard shipping, I guess? Oh, it comes in a nice knife pouch and the Alliance Designs logo on the knife pouch. Here we go. Just gonna open it up and wow, I'm so excited. It looks like it's completely sealed and uh, from the looks of it, it's not like overly drenched in lubricant. So that's a good thing. Let's get it out of the packaging. Here we go, this is the Slim Pickens. And I'm not gonna be flipping it open yet because apart from this being an unboxing or unpackaging video, it is also a first impressions video. And the biggest reason, like I said, that I got this is because of that sound. I wanna experience it firsthand, but I do have a couple of knives here that I took out that are in my collection. And in my opinion, the two best sounding knives. And when I say best sounding, it is just the beautiful sound it makes either when it's opening or closing. And here is the Valence Knives or Valence Customs Gamma Mid-Tech. And this here has possibly the most beautiful sounding closing in a folding pocket knife that I've experienced so far. This is manufactured by Wii. Very authoritative opening, but that closing sound, that, that closing sound is just something else. I've, I just love this closing sound. All right, so that's a comparison there. And I've got the Adam Purvis Knives Primordial, and this is the first Primordial version, the Mark 1. That is a nice sound. Closing as well, but the opening really is, wow, that nice click. I love it. So these two, in my opinion, have the best sounding opening and closing in my uh, collection so far. And the interesting thing is that these two are actually manufactured by Wii Knives. And now onto this baby over here. I've not yet opened it, but I really like the way it looks. It is a pretty large knife in my opinion. Looks to be comparable to the Valence Customs Gamma Mid Tech here. But now that sound comparison, I want to know what it's like straight out of the box. Here we go. Interesting opening sound. Okay, let's hear the closing then. Wow. Okay. That is something else. I like that closing sound. That's quite cool. It sounds like as if it's knocking on the backspacer, but it clearly is not. So I think it's actually caused by the blade actually knocking on this stop pin here. Yep. You could see a slight... Yeah, you can see some of the lubricant there on the blade. I guess when it touches that stop pin, that's where the sound comes from. Wow, that's a beautiful sound. It's a hollow cling kind of sound. Wow, that's, that's something else. So the first impressions of the sound is it lives up to the hype. 
I really am enjoying this sound now. Um, <laughs> it doesn't sound as pronounced as when it did in videos, but definitely. Wow, do you guys hear that? And I always have this habit of reaching in here as if it's a frame lock. It is not a frame lock. All right, moving these two knives out of the way. Wow, it's so authoritative. I'm going to try a full swing close. Like that. What? That bounce is nuts. Let's see. Okay, I'm very impressed with that sound, the opening and closing. All right, so uh, like I said, guys, first impressions. Okay, so this is what it looks like show side and what it looks like on the clip side you could see that there is a noticeable bump here to house the button this is what the spine looks like backspacer oh that sound man so here at the bottom here there is no lockup but i'm not so sure if you guys can actually see it there is some skeletonization or some milling on the underside of the scales which is quite cool it looks like sort of a pattern like a motif created using the alliance designs logo you got the alliance designs logo here as well jimping up top yep and uh blade centering looks to be really spot on so the fit and finish here is good yep no blade play no lock rock that is awesome and so here's the blade guys got a nice switch up here i like that it is a hollow grind you can tell by the way it reflects light finger choil up here or sharpening choil here and there's no marking of the steel. Quite surprised because this logo application is really, really classy. I was thinking there might be some like M390 marked here, but I guess not. And then at the back here, we got that pocket clip, 3D milk pocket clip, and it uses standoffs here. You can't change the clip position at all. It's always going to be tip up. Then we got the button here. Nice spring tension as well for the button. And we can see the button moving on the inside. That is it. So it's got a very minimalistic flipper tab as well. But this flipper tab has jimping on it. It's not overly sharp. It's good. And the thing I wanted to say so far is that you guys have seen I've not yet had any problems firing the blade or deploying the blade. So that flipper tab actually does suffice. And when the blade is deployed, you don't even see that flipper tab at all. I love that it's hidden in here. I love it. I love that. It makes the whole thing look so sleek. Okay, so holding it in my hand feels quite comfortable. I gotta say, uh, I don't know how it will feel for a long time if I bear down on it or if I grip really, really tight. Seems like the pocket clip might bite my hand a little bit. You could see that it's poking in here just slightly. Right, so... Just like that. That's quite okay as well. Not bad. I'm gonna choke up a little bit. Yeah, choking up is not bad too, actually. Yeah, choking up is quite comfortable as well. The jimping up here is really comfortable, really well done, finished very well. It's even nicely chamfered on the two sides as well. Good enough grip, doesn't cut, not sharp, nice. I think overall impressions on this thing is pretty good, especially that sound. That's what I got it for and I am not disappointed at all. I'm gonna try to do a clean close. Ah, oh, there, got it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I noticed that there are no measurements of this on websites at all. Like this is supposed to be released on Blade HQ, Knife Center, and of course on the Alliance Designs website. Well, that's where I got this knife anyway, but there's no measurements. I'll just measure this thing up and I'll put it on screen. And I will say that this was retailing at $345, a little bit on the expensive side. And uh, I'm actually surprised that I was willing to pull the trigger on that for a knife like this i mean yes it is a little bit big you get a lot of knife for that price for 345 it's my first alliance designs knife and so far it is impressive i don't know how it is as an edc user if i were to carry it every day but it seems to be quite a good looking knife so far i really like the design but that was my first impressions everyone right now i have another knife on my edc rotation but this will be on rotation pretty darn soon because i'm excited to put this to use you know really really like the way it looks very sleek and I love the fact that that flipper tab just disappears when it's open. It's awesome, right? Very authoritative, good looker so far and that sound, that's, that's not yet disappointed me at all. It's the main reason why I got it. Just 
listen to that so awesome basically that is it everyone that's just basically what i wanted to share with you guys the unboxing or unpackaging and my first impressions if you enjoy the content that i'm putting out here on the channel and you want more please consider subscribing and if you do subscribe make sure you hit the bell to be notified of any new uploads that i put out also i run a patreon page i'll put a link up here to that and if you do become a patron of mine thank you so much in advance because any amount of donation on patreon is way way more than anything that youtube can ever give so thank you so much in advance and that is it everyone thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life and i will catch all of you in the next video and until then gaga boost